Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to explore range masking inside of Lightroom. But first, make sure you join us in our free private Facebook community so that you don't miss another live video. Let's access the adjustment brush by pressing K on the keyboard. My good friend Nicole Begley recently sent me this image when we were discussing the new range masking feature in Lightroom. And if you don't see range masking in your Lightroom, well, you might need to update your version. And if you're not familiar with Nicole's work, I encourage you to check out her website below. She's a world-renowned pet photographer and instructor. In this image, obviously, we need to add light to the dog. Now, I'm not exactly sure how much I'll need to increase the exposure and shadows in the adjustment brush, so I'm going to reset all of those by holding down Alt or Option on the keyboard and clicking Reset. Next, I'm going to make sure that my mask overlay is turned on by pressing O on my keyboard. I'm selecting the dog quickly and carelessly because I'm going to use the range mask feature in order to help me refine this selection. Now, before this feature was introduced, I probably would have used auto mask to accomplish this, but I actually think this is a little more efficient. Let's select range mask luminance because we're dealing with lights and darks. Range masking provides a non-destructive and re-editable way to limit the local adjustment tools to a range of color or tones. In this case, we're talking about tones. Now, if I pull in from the right, what you'll notice is that the mask is automatically shrinking. That is, what it's doing is it's eliminating highlights and it's sticking to the shadow areas. If I pull from the left, it does the exact opposite. It stops impacting the shadows and only impacts the highlights. In this case, what we would like it to do is impact the dog and not the background. Well, the dog is in the shadows. That means we're going to use the right slider until we see that selection just around the dog. Now, smoothness is about the edge or the transition. Holding down Alt or Option on your keyboard and dragging will reveal the mask so that you can see just how soft or how defined that edge is. Now in this case, I'm gonna leave it pretty defined because that makes sense in this image. And now that I have this dog selected, I'm going to press O on my keyboard in order to turn off the mask overlay. And now I can come into the adjustment panel and pull up on the exposure, up on the shadows. When you do that, you tend to lose a little bit of contrast I like to add that back in with a little bit of clarity and maybe a touch of contrast in order to improve that tonality. And let's take a look at before and after. I am a huge fan of this new feature in Lightroom. I think it's going to make selections so much more robust. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.